What's up you guys? Welcome back to another daily vlog. Today is Wednesday, right? I feel like this week is low-key going by slow. I'm just getting ready for my day. Unfortunately, I have some bad news. I think I have some pimples from drinking. Let me know if that happens to you. Um, yeah, I feel like whenever I drink <laughs> to the point where I am like hungover, which definitely happened on my little girl's night, but I have all these little bumps. <laughs> Not a lot, but like a few. And usually, like, I never really break out of my forehead at all. And I just notice it. And then I also just have a couple... <sighs> That's what I get. But that is one of the things I really notice post-Accutane. And maybe also just because I do use a prescription retinol, like Tretinoin cream. Um, usually every other day. Not typically every day, but every other day. So I think it's probably a combination of the two. But if I do get a pimple, it usually goes away really quickly anyway i'm wearing my damon and joe merch i don't know if this is still available but look how cute bitch today is finally fucking nice out like sunny nice i wasn't cold when i woke up i'm gonna go edit yesterday's vlog on my roof just standing up like i did this past weekend and i have to go pick up a package which i think might be either i think it's like something for a brand deal so that's exciting i have these like shorter pieces of hair in the front you know which is cute when it's down but when i have my hair up like this which i normally do I swear they don't want to be gelled back. So I will literally take this and like, just put a little bit. Somebody said that they use this as setting spray and apparently that's like a drag secret. I will be so scared. Like I get it's different if you're like performing and you're on stage and like sweating and whatnot. But like, I feel like I would break out. Let me know if you've ever tried. Or like, I know people used to use hairspray back in the day. Um, I don't know, I feel like I never really did that because I never really wore that much makeup. And by the time I was wearing makeup, there was like setting sprays, like Urban Decay, you know, stuff's been around. Okay, y'all, I wanted to talk about, like this is a little more serious subject, but I was reading my comments this morning and um, a couple vlogs ago, I was talking about Ronnie from Jersey Shore getting arrested like recently. And I was like, yeah, classic, like he was so, you could just like tell he seemed very like violent on the show and just like very aggressive towards Sam, which if you don't know, if you've never watched Jersey Shore, two of the people were in a relationship and they were just like notorious for always like fighting and he would always be cheating on her. like hooking up with girls at the club, but then like coming back to be with her and like, they would just get into screaming matches and he was just very, like obviously both of them would yell at each other, but he was just very like, he just had a very aggressive vibe. But someone commented on the video like, yeah, well she would provoke him a lot. They didn't have like a nasty tone or anything, so I'm not like coming for this person, but I feel like this is, this idea is just very normalized and it's like, well she, you know, producers said that she was actually like, really mean to him and she would instigate fights and like she wasn't like just this sweet girl like she would actually be mean to him back so we're whipping out our handy dandy inside the minds of an angry and controlling men workbook i recommend if you are around men in any capacity to read this book because even if maybe you don't date men um i feel like a lot of this can still be applied to like I don't know, maybe family members or other men. Like there's a lot of men like this in this world, even if you're not in a relationship with one. So I would just really recommend this book. And I did talk about this on my podcast, but I feel like this is a book you can definitely come back to. It's not necessarily like a read from cover to cover, which I did. You can obviously do like you should, but you can really come back to this book. So especially if you do date men, like I would recommend getting this because if you see some red flags, you can like look them up. So there's a couple things. I literally was looking through this this morning. So myth number 14, there are just as many abusive women as abusive men. There are, certainly are some women who treat their male partners badly, berating them, calling them names, attempting to control them. The negative impact on these men's lives can be considerable, but do we see men whose self-esteem is gradually destroyed through this process? Do we see men whose progress in school or in their careers grinds to a halt because of the constant criticism and undermining where are the men whose partners are forcing them to have unwanted unwanted sex where are the men who are fleeing to shelters in fear of their lives how about the ones who try to get to a phone to call for help but the women block their way or cut the line the reason we generally don't see these men is simple they're rare in their efforts to adopt victim status my clients which his clients are the um, abusers so the men try to exaggerate their partner's verbal power sure i can win a physical fight but she is much better with her mouth than i am so i'd say it balances out one very violent man said in his group therapy session she stabs me through the heart with her words to justify the fact that he had stabbed his partner in the chest with a knife and then a question someone had why does he say I'm the one abusing him? An example, when Tanya attempted to defend herself against Emil's life-threatening attack, 
he defined her actions as violence towards him instead of just self-defense and then when he injured her further, he claimed he was defending himself against her abuse. My wife nags at me for hours. I can only take so much of her complaining and telling me I'm no good. Yesterday she went on for half an hour. I finally called her a bitch and took off. A few days later, I spoke with the wife and she told me that she had indeed been yelling to the husband for five or 10 minutes. However, he failed to tell me that he had launched a verbal assault when she first woke up that morning and had continued berating her all day. He totally dominates arguments. He repeats himself like a broken record. He calls me a bitch 10 times a day. She finally had reached her limit and began standing up for herself forcefully and that's when he stormed out. Why does he think she is the one who has been doing all the yelling and complaining? Because in his mind, she's supposed to be listening and not talking. And you can just like really see this throughout the show. Like obviously it's kind of like downplayed because it's not like they're gonna like show domestic violence or anything. <laughs> on an MTV show, even though it's like, you could kind of argue that it is in some ways, but you just notice like whenever he would get in fights with other women, like I remember first episode of season three, he comes down to like start yelling at Dina and he's just like yelling at her, yelling at her, doesn't let her get a word in. He's like, this is my house. You don't come into my house. And like, and then he's like, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm not done, I'm talking. And it's like, typically always towards the women in the house, including his girlfriend. Abusers externalize responsibility for their actions, believing that their partners make them behave in abusive ways. So like, well, she's pushing his buttons. It's like, if he wasn't abusive, he wouldn't react like that at all. Each of my clients predictably use some variation of the following lines. She knows how to push my buttons. She pushed me too far. There's only so much a man can take. You expect me to just let her walk all over me. What would you do? She wanted me to go off and she knows how to make it happen. When I ask them to describe their ver verbal or physical assaults in detail, they leap back to justifying. If a man is abusive, of course he's going to deny it partly to protect himself and partly because his perceptions are distorted. If he were ready to accept responsibility for his actions and relationships, he wouldn't be abusive. You just kind of get like a, a vibe of this book and then also just like why I feel like a statement like that is kind of like, just not true and it's like now especially with jersey shore it's like we see this man has a pattern of domestic violence and like abuse in his relationships with women so it's kind of like yeah she had to leave him and she had to like end it you know y'all should definitely read this even if you're like i've never experienced that it's like it's good just to spot the signs anyway because you never know and knowledge is power it also does talk about like alcohol abuse and drug abuse in this i feel like that also really goes into that whole situation on Jersey Shore. Anyway, I would love to do a deep dive. I would love to write a book about like using that as an example. <laughs> I don't know, I think that's why it's so fascinating to me. Anyway, so I'm gonna like go edit on my roof right now. I'm gonna put on extra SPF. This is the one I'm using today. I do feel like I don't like this one under makeup. So I do try to wear it on days I'm not wearing makeup. It is a zinc based one, but if I am wearing makeup, I do feel like this what is it, just more of like a cream finish. Like, you know, it's like this and not droplets. This one's better under makeup for sure. This, I feel like the makeup can get kind of like, you know when sunscreen makes it do that, it's like, so yeah. And I feel like this has a little bit more of a white cast than this. Anyway, sunscreen of the day, water of the day. Let's go get this done. Vegan burger alert, this is a vegan chicken burger. It's kind of useless because it only has seven grams of protein, but the taste and the texture is good. So this is what I'm eating right now, um, but yeah. Ew, so this is like disgusting, um, but y'all know I have this little herb garden. A lot of them did die, unfortunately, but I think all the gnats, like little fruit flies come from here. And I need to know if this is true or false, but I swear to God, I see these like, oh my God, here's one. It's like these little orange kind of like ball things, like kind of like fish egg. So I'm wondering if that's like, where they come from and I looked it up and someone had posted a pic and they have been like bye someone said it's like fertilizer that comes with the soil and it like releases I feel like that's not true because I literally picked all of them out like two weeks ago and now I just checked and there's more so I feel like I don't know like they lay an egg or something and it like grows like I feel like it's like an egg sac ew like just the fact that there's so many more when I literally went through this whole thing picked it out and I sprinkled cinnamon at the top. Oh my god, this one looks really fresh. You see that? Also because they're stacked and they're not in like direct sunlight. So they stay moist for a while. So I wonder if that's like optimal laying egg condition. If anybody knows, let me know. Because it was kind of hard to look it up. Because it's like, what do I say? Like gnat eggs. This is disgusting. Oh my god, here's a big one too. Like there's so many. Ew! I literally just throw them away hope and pray that they don't come back. It literally looks like I've just been like standing here the whole day. Um, somebody, shout out to whoever fucking 
Use my DoorDash code. I know it's like most of us already have these apps, so I feel kind of dumb if I use it. But sometimes I'll get someone that uses it and then I get $20 off my order. <laughs> I kind of want like, this is what I tweeted the other day too. It's like, I kind of want a salad, but like, I don't know. I feel like when I want a salad, I don't want a lot of the salads that places offer. Like, I don't like when salads have like candy nuts and like every dairy cheese you can imagine. And like, just all this extra stuff. Like I literally just want the greens and like vegetables. So I should probably just like make it myself. Like I get you need to have some like crunch or like whatever. I want like a side salad that's big. <laughs> anyway, but then I also want like a chicken nugget or like a, not a fry, but like, I don't really like fries. Like I like wedges or like home fries. Something about a fry just reminds me of it getting cold. But like a breakfast potato, like a home fry, or like, I don't know, even like a waffle fry is like better. Just a regular fry. It's like, I literally have two and I'm over it. So I don't really know where to order from. Also, I was trying to take some selfies, but my lips just literally looked so dry. I should have used my new lip oil, but then at that point I was over it. So I think I'm just going to wait to take any pics until after this recovery period is over because it's just annoying. Like I was talking about a couple of vlogs ago, it's like, yeah, I could post a selfie or something, but even just like sitting to do my makeup it's just so annoying to sit like that for the amount of time it would take so i don't know sorry i'm looking at my plants they really look like they grow a lot overnight which makes sense because it was it's been really warm today okay y'all we came to our decision and it literally worked out perfectly i went with this hawaiian place so it's basically like white rice with barbecued chicken on top of it but like Hawaiian style, you know, so it's kind of like charred a little bit. And then I was looking at pics on Yelp and the salad that they give you is like a lot. Like it's literally like the rice. Cause usually they just like throw some greens in the corner. Hopefully it's similar to the pic, but in the container it was like the rice with the chicken on it. And then the whole thing next to it was all, my order has been canceled. What? What the fuck? Oh my God, you guys, drama. Um, So I was like FAQ instant live chat doordash and they were not helpful but then i just like kept trying and eventually it went through so and they just confirmed it so it's like official now not to jinx it knock on wood but now i'm just doing some emails um kind of boring and i'm like we're playing the comments not so boring but i kind of like already did that so now i'm like we're playing the emails i also have to go get a package from downstairs um yeah i definitely feel though just like I definitely just feel a lot better mentally though I really honestly truly just think it's like because it's nicer out and the end is like in sight bitch you know it's like so soon that I'll get to be able to go back to my regular routine so I'm just like excited I don't know it's just like I don't know I feel like the seasons are starting to change more like it's starting to feel like summer and you know, that's one time to shine. So I'll show you guys my food when it gets here. Please hope and pray for me right now. Unboxing haul. What the heck? Not as much as I thought. Uh. Oh. <laughs> when I went to get my package, this guy was like, have a good day. He wasn't actually creepy about it, but I think it's because my nipples were out. Okay, so this is the vibe. Um, I don't think I was like scammed because this was, shout out to the person who, you know, sauce, used my code. This is a good time. Let me taste test. Oh my God, bitch. Yay. 